Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time for your morning latte. Have you guys are uh, excited as I am because um, I wanted to play this web game for a couple of days now. I actually tried it out a little bit. Um, this is okay. So I should probably clarify. I should probably uh, give a little bit of a heads up. I should probably I should probably explain a couple of things. All right. Um, so first of all, I'm really excited about Genshin Impact. <laughs> I, uh, I just finished watching the live stream for the next update. Uh, not sponsored, by the way. Please sponsor me, Genshin Impact. I play your game religiously. <laughs> um, but also, um, so I'm really excited for the next update. But also, uh, tomorrow, actually, uh, Genshin Impact is going to be creating or hosting um, a event where they hired a bunch of creators to produce all sorts of like really interesting fan work right from animations from um art from music all sorts of stuff and then they're gonna like uh they combine it all into a uh, really fun uh live stream for people to watch tomorrow that's gonna be really exciting um and that's gonna be tomorrow and i'm gonna be watching it for sure uh and this is one of the things that they made for to promote their their hoyo fair um so that's gonna be really exciting. Uh, this is a web game based off of Hollow Knight. Um, I hope they got the rights to it, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've been really excited to play this because it's real. It looks really cute. Uh, the art's are really, really good. The artists are uh, credited in the description if you guys want to check them out. Um, I also don't like the U new YouTube format. Have you guys seen it? The new YouTube format is kind of not that cool, but um, it is. It is pretty interesting. Is the blonde guy a guy or a girl? This is a, this is the main. Can you see my cursor? You can't see my cursor. This is the male male MC, the male traveler for Genshin Impact. He's a. Oh, there you can see it. Yeah, he's very he's very he's very pretty. He also has a a twin. Um, hold on. How am I supposed to do this? Maybe if I like move over here. Oh, I didn't move myself. Okay, hold on. Okay, fine. If I move over here a little bit, you can see there's the female MC as well. They're very, very cute. They're very, they're, they're twins. They're very, very cute, and I, I like, I like them both a lot. So, um, anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Um, uh, let me just see. My one of my things is broken on OBS, so I'll deal with that another time. So, I'll play as a guest. Let's begin. Um, naturally, as a Hollow Knight veteran, um. Continue. Naturally, as a Hollow Knight veteran, do you move very. I did play this game a little. Oops. This one throws chase as that. Yeah. I, uh, I, I played this game a little bit uh, before 
Uh, is Hollow Knight? Yeah, it's Hollow Knight. One. They only. Oh, never mind. They don't want me dash yet. Never mind. Hold on, I should probably stop throwing. Let's 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 go real quick. Uh, apparently it's like a decently long game, so I figured it'd be like it'd be good for like one stream, right? So, well, might as we might as well. Um, I need to remember how to play Hollow Knight though, cause it's been a bit. But yeah, this is this is Genshin Hollow Knight. Yay! That is a tutorial. <laughs> I know it's actually not. There's a little bit of input lag with this, um, compared to normal Hollow Knight. So, yay! Yeah, it feels a little bit different than the normal Hollow Knight, and I got I got a little bit of the ways into this game. So anyway, lag sure. <laughs> of course it's lag. There's a little bit of input lag because it's a browser-based game. Destiny destroys certain obstacles. Yeah. Um. Oh. I do remember while I was exploring the first area, there's this guy. Your teammates are trash? <laughs> True! That's what I'm blaming today. Yeah, this is based off of the, um... Inazuma region of Genshin Impact. Based off of, a uh, real life, uh, feudal Japan. Don't quote me on that. A cold, hungry-looking samurai pays me no heed. Okay. He must be hiding here to slack off. Wonderful. Let me move my mic real quick. Okay. Let's go. Maybe we should heal up before we go to the next area. But um, yeah, this is gonna be exciting. I hope we. I heard that there's like 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 several several parts to this, including boss fights and stuff. So I hope it'll only take one stream. But I also hope that it'll last long enough for one stream. I don't know. Depends on how bad I am, I guess. So we gotta gotta pace myself. I gotta be I gotta be all right, but not too good. That's what I- that, that's what- that's what our goal is today. Uh-oh, our first boss? He attacks the samurai? Not the bottom, the bottom. But this guy we can. Oh no. Ow. I remember this guy is really susceptible to this. We'll just do this. Ah! Don't die, don't die. You didn't see that. Um, it's, 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 it's practice. Um, I blame the fact that I can't see my cursor. Yeah. See what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nothing happens. Yeah. This is gameplay. Don't worry. Trust. Trust the process. <laughs> Oh boy, we got one HP. Yay. Life is good. That's a good <gasps> Breakable! I was scammed. It's not breakable wall. <laughs> we were into dirt. True. He yeah, can die there. If I do say so myself. I kind of annihilated that fella. Very nice. I'm gonna put a statue here to rest at. Now let's see. Now that we're we're out of the well, what does the overworld have for us? I can't attack as fast in this game as I can in Hollow Knight. I feel like Hollow Knight could kind of spam, but this is like the fastest I can go. So I gotta get used to that. Delicious dish. Hey, we can give that to that samurai who was hungry. Oh, back into the unknown we go. She's taking a stroll with his sword drawn. <laughs> As it should be. Oh! Stinky slime. Yeah, no, she's she's so she's so cute. I I think she's you know, that she's so cute. She's washed. I am washed. What about it? I haven't played all night in a year. And dunked on a little bit. Hey, you want some food? Samurai, thanks you. I got a travel permit! Got a visa, thanks, dude. Uh, you can see that. People like the samurai, so when people die in this world, they turn into zombie slimes. 
Today we learned, I guess. Plot thickens. <laughs> Cracked to this game for real. Honestly, though, for like um a game made basically by like heckin' freelance contractors, and probably in like less than six months, this is like pretty clean. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Oh, why is your range so long? Good thing we can go back and heal whenever we need to. I hate spear havers. Heckin, swords don't do anything against those. Why is the range so long on those things? Not fair. Can you explain the characters as we go along? Oh yeah, so the guys we just fought were basically the police force of um Japan, of feudal Japan, Inazuma. Um, they have spears and no helmets, so that's, that's how you know they're. Oh. That's how you know they're fake uh, guys. This guy is just bigger, I think. He's the same. He's the same kind of guy. He's just bigger. If my if my understanding is correct. I can stand there. Come on, come on, buddy. Easy. This spear guy wants a significance to a plot. Well, his significance is that he distinctly has none. Unless he has a name. But he did, I didn't see a name tag above him, so it's fine. Um, I do like the art though. It's really cute. I'm really surprised how polished this is. But. And this guy's significance is that he has a helmet, and therefore he cares about his, um, head safety. Yeah. Hey, buddy! Easy! Oh, two guys now. Oh! Is there... iframes in this game? Oh! Okay, I haven't gotten this far. In my practice, I've never gotten this far, right? Ah! Oh, I'm cooked, guys. I'm so cooked. Wait, winnable? Yeah! We did it! Did Horns tell me he must have been a Viking? I don't know, but... You know, Field of Japan had Viking. Dang, that's the farthest I've ever gotten. I only made it. To, I, only, I only made it up to here in my uh, practice. I hope it doesn't end immediately after. <laughs> That'd be kind of uh, sad and disappointing. But yeah, no, the next update for Genshin Impact looks really exciting. I'm really, really, I'm really hyped for it. Um, as usual, I don't be playing it on stream because it's my game. It's my comfort game. I play it off stream all the time. Um, but. There's a lot of new stuff. There's like a new region, like new quests for a lot of characters I've been really excited to see again. Um, lots of fun stuff. I'm excited. There's two of them. And there's a moon. Oh, he parries! Oh, hey. Good thing they suck. They suck. Die, Hagen Coward. This ain't Genshin. <laughs> yeah, it's basically Genshin. It's just Genshin of Genshin as Hollow Knight. I like that uh, very one dimensional moon in the sky up there. You guys see it? It's just a circle. I told you that you were just some dudes in a costume and still went ahead and murdered them. <laughs> oh, hey, I got another travel permit. Uh, enter. What's this way? This is a duel to the death, my good sir. Sucks. 
Hey, Kiza Flux, good to see you. Guys, do I jump down? Don't you have any other moves? Yeah, I have like Hollow Knight moves. Alright, but I'm bad at the game. And so. Hold on, really, I'm really curious. Hey! I live! It's like a cool game? Yeah, it's like um, It's a fan made game, actually. Uh, I think it's commissioned by Hoyoverse. They made it in not in a pretty short span of time, to be honest. I can't make it up there. Aw oh, man, I don't have wall jump yet. Um Oh ha <laughs> Look what I found. What is around here? There's water and stuff. Water is a good sign. It means there's life. Likely, probably. Huh. <laughs> I like that. The weirdly loud water sound. Sorry, anyway. I probably... I cannot go that way. Okay. Okay. I've explored enough, it seems. There won't be many much like, any life much longer if you keep killing everything unprompted. Well, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Let people live? Come on, let's be for real for a minute. <laughs> let's be for real for a minute. What, 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 what? If we are a uh, seasoned veteran at traveling, would we really go around? You can play for free too? Oh yeah, I should link it, huh? I should probably link this. Hold on, let me let me pull it up real quick. It's a long link. Um, it's gotta be a shorter one. Hold on, let me look it up. Is, am I? Do you, do you guys hear that walking sound? Is, is that walking that I hear? I'm not going crazy, right? Oh, it, can, it is gonna, it can't be short enough, okay. Let me just copy this. Go onto my YouTube, wherever that is. Edit, paste. There you go, so you guys can have fun with it yourselves as well. Okay. Oh. Yay! Okay, I, oh, I already rested, my bad. It's Hollow Impact, exactly. What's the game called Hollow Knight Engine Impact? It's exactly what you think it is. Exposed. <laughs> For real, you can see my, um, the URL. Yeah, it's crazy. Can't believe you guys found out my uh, IP address and stuff just from that. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's go into... Um, so this is probably... Enshukaku, which is... which is... Hello, ma'am. That's cute. And it's full of hackers, be careful. <laughs> yeah, so this is a jellyfish lady. She's a... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Sorry, the pink the pink the pink girl is um the jellyfish general who who is um thing this purple lady who's the god of the world. Ah! I wasn't emotionally prepared for this, I'll be honest. I don't know if I I don't feel like I'm emotionally prepared for this. Don't hurt me. It's too late for me. I'm so cooked. I'm not supposed to fight God yet. We aren't, we aren't at that stage in a heckin' JRPG. Yeah, this is what happens when you try to fight God. Uh, 
Whoa, whoa, wait, I want to be a princess carried like that. Wait, hold on. To kick your butt even if you are unprepared. <laughs> wait, whoa, the dream continues. This guy's French, what's he doing here? Seems like you've come up against a formidable fo I wasn't supposed to win, okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Oh, this song! Hope you such cool music. It's not very nice. I love this guy. This guy's great. He's one of my favorite characters. But dang, the song! It's a little loud. I like this song, actually. I like, I like it a lot. I'm a magician, so maybe I can help you out. Of course, I'll need you to take part in our performance in return. Okay. Fancy giving it a go? Okay. I love that guy. This guy's so cool. Cool. I just have to fight stuff? Alright. Oh! You know what they say in my lingo- my language? We say bet. Oh, hey. Am I supposed to hit this? There's a lot of enemies in this game though. Like, I'm- I'm genuinely surprised. Animal cruelty. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a it's a prop. It's fine. I didn't. Don't worry about. I. That's um. <laughs> that's embarrassing. I want to explore. Like this. Ooh, view. One HP. Hey, look at the cloud, it's a cat. Ooh! Strangely colored dish. What am I supposed to do with two visas, you guys? What do I do with two- oh. I don't remember how to do this. I need to stop pressing escape because it's heckin' instinctual. Hey! Rest spot. Wait, I'm back here? No way, it's just like Hollow Knight. <laughs> it's actually just like Hollow Knight. That's insane. Yeah, I'll start with the first performance. Yay! Man, this brings back memories. The real ones have seen my Hollow Knight playthrough when I played Hollow Knight, and I literally just did this. It was just like this. How far does it go up? How far enough? Well, last time I hit this, this healed me. So. Now it's just like Dark Souls, so you're basically playing Dark Souls. <laughs> True. Good thing these guys are easy to read. Easy. Boing, 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 boing. Man, this is so easy. Come on. How come I died last time? Am I throwing? I must be throwing. Certainly. Look at the camera. Oh. And wrinkles. You got a hammer and wrinkles. Man, make a struggle. The worst weapon or <laughs> being old. Doing like a, the jumping centipede jumping section. Oh god. Oh, uh... Where'd you go? Where are you at? What? <laughs> Please don't do this to me. That's for my mental health. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. He's just hurting my, um... <laughs> my mental health. It's okay. Woo! Double jump! Let's go! That's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah! I missed this. This is, this is the good stuff. Okay. Okay, let's start this now. Give me some one section in the cave, yeah! And also, I can jump back there if I ever want to. Oh, these guys are scary in the game. These two are like, I don't know. Probably something about like homosexual samurais, I guess. But they always work together and stuff, and then so if one dies, the other one gets stronger. Kind of thing. Your revenge mechanic. Like all that. Okay, maybe not this game. Nice. That's not bad. Three of these guys at once. Bro, you can hit me in the air there. Oh, wait, I can't dash until I hit the ground. Oh, that's bad. I didn't realize I couldn't dash until I hit the ground. What well, the path of pain hell is this? This is Genshin this is Genshin Impact. At its finest. I can't hit my gear. Let's go! <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Why does this work? Maybe they're just friends? Maybe they're just friends. But I don't know. Oh! What? What? Oh, I'm so cooked. Oh, I'm so cooked. I'm crying. I'm so cooked. George, he's in the boss line. <laughs> is this a fan game? Yeah, it's a fan game. It's made for um, a Hoyo Fair, um, which is tomorrow, actually. You can play for free on um, desktop, on actually on your web browser. It's, in it's linked in the description so you can check it out. I hope she's going to be streaming in time out of sleep. I'm so sorry, Z. I hope you, uh, I hope you have a good sleep regardless, you know? I'm sorry for streaming at a bad time for you. But yeah, no, this is, this is pretty fun. These get, yeah, these guys get eye frightening, but I don't. That's not fair. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Ow! What the heck? Wait, why can he... He didn't hit me. He never hit me. Why is it harder this time? What happened? Jesus Christ. 8.30 a.m. Pizza Land? Nice. She just streamed 24 7. <laughs> she doesn't have a Honestly, I wish. If it was, I'd actually have a shot. Oh, oh I'm so close. I'm so bad at this. I'm actually throwing. I'm actually throwing. I'm actually throwing. Are these same guys uh, as annoying to be here as in the game? Um, yes, actually, I think so. Um, hold on, let's take a break here. Let's go check out that uh place where we could jump, where, where we could go to a cave and do things we couldn't do before. Yeah, how about that? How about, how about that? What? Don't ignore you. You're not relevant to my entry here. Just because I'm curious, mostly. Whoa! Do you think they'll me to fight the boss again? Whoa! I can't. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Whoa! Which way was it? Is it this one? <gasps> Let's go! Plus one HP. There's nothing else here. That's it? Okay. Well, that'll certainly help me. I 
remember this. I don't remember this. What? What? I played. Okay. Nice. 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 Shade skip from. <laughs> if I wish I could skate shade skip. Um. Uh, dang. If this stream is being weird though, I'm actually that's actually tough. I don't know. I don't know if I can help you there. What's this? The last HP. There is benefit to exploration after all. Dang, guys, I think we're actually close to the end of the game, though. Not sure what we're. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this information. Um, I can't. I can't very well end the stream half an hour in, right? So, so I feel like I feel like we should probably find something else to do. Like, you know, on, on, the, on the off chance that, of course. Huh. Whatever that is. So maybe the circus and the boss? Yeah, but that's not gonna take half an hour, right? 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 Oh. Wait, am I just bad? I mean, I'm just bad. Yeah, I can't- I don't- I don't refresh my dash after I hit an enemy, which is sad. I think you could do that in Hollow Knight. <laughs> I just give you a three hour stream, you think so? <laughs> you have so little confidence in my ability? Honestly, that's valid. Honestly, that's pretty valid. Endurance stream, let's go. <laughs> let's see how much sleep I sacrificed tonight. Hopefully not too much, hopefully. Hopefully we'll only be up a little bit. All right, hopefully. I guess worst case, we could open Genshin and do a little bit of farming. All right. Worst case scenario. I had a lot of confidence in your Hollow Knight skills before the stream. What do you mean? <laughs> what changed? Nice, 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 nice. Whoa! I can't be out in the air! Probably these guys can be so high. They must be throwing. There's no other explanation for this. There's no other explanation for this. <laughs> Surely it's not because I'm bad. You'll sign the tutorial for what? I don't know what you're on about. I think you're crazy. Let's see, okay. One down, one to go. Okay, nice. Nice, I got two HP from that. Oh man. Please don't hurt me. Okay, she only dashes one direction, which is. Okay. That's so cool, though, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of cool. Oh. Man, I wish I could do a flip like that. My fr what? <laughs> what do you mean there's two more? What do you mean there's two more? <laughs> that moves the light on. I held out hope that it would get me <laughs> healing at that. Man. But yeah, no, this is this is definitely really well done for sure. Well, for a, what's basically a fan game, this is like this is like 
actually kind of cracked. Yeah, I feel like, like, Pokeling is kind of RNG, you know? I feel like... I don't know, I feel like it's kind of RNG. Fuck out! Okay, I only lost two HP this time. I can do this. Mentally. Have you guys ever had singles pretty tall? Yeah, I know. It's rough for me, who doesn't like to... I don't know. Who doesn't like to think too hard. I like that these guys can't target at all, though, since I'm below them. This is, uh, this is, this is nice. This is, uh, very chill. What? Oh, I'm... It's only been 35 minutes, what happened to you, Latte? I don't know, I guess I just suck at the game. Whoops. Man, these guys are so cool, though. I wish I had a cool mask and a nice sword like that. I feel like I'd be a happier person if I did. Focus, 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 focus. Two guys today. Two. Focus on the melee one first. Okay, never mind. Let's do our best. <laughs> No idea. This is this is like this is like a test of my wits and mental capabilities, my mental fortitude. Every time I attack this and go through, I heckin dash. It's really bad. That's not fair. 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 Focus. Your pride lies in this heckin' fight. If you lose here, we're not, we're not making it out. <laughs> this is a lost cause, man. You can do it, thank you. I'll do my best. I feel like, you know, this is this is bringing back memories though, for sure. I <laughs> I'm getting like flashbacks. I remember a whole night. I used to be in these kinds of arenas for like hours. I'd been a whole street. I had two whole streets in one arena. Man, gosh, do you guys remember those days? I remember those days with fondness and no small amount of misery. Wow, how did I get that? Yeah, that was... I don't like that these guys swing also behind them. That's kind of weird. Personally, in that kind of big swing, it's like it's like it's bad for your it's bad it's bad form, no? No, I never learned swords and shit, so I can't say for sure. <laughs> Easy. Whew. You actually do. <laughs> so the first thing that is I watched the arena run. <laughs> oh god. That's actually uh scary to think about. There are people who remember from me from those times. One more. Ah, I'm so proud of you back there. <laughs> what happened? Whoa. Wait. Huh? 
never hit me before with that. They'll be all of the crap. <laughs> True. Yeah! He laughed me to a corner. That's not that's not cool. I feel skills lost the time, honestly. I think I'm doomed to take two damage there. I hate the range fellow though. This guy, this, 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 this hat, this hatted, this hatted fellow is actually trying to kill me. Good thing they have a sound cue though. Only okay, three HP left. Focus, focus. That's not fair. Teleporting right above me. Actually toxic. What else? Double, double, double. Man, I never felt so happy. The twin changed! It's the, the French magician's sister. That's so cute. Hi, man. Why oh, she's so much taller than me? Why oh, she's taller than Ah, uh, Then he says, at the moment, ready for the final performance. Oh, no. You like I'm out to fight Linny. <gasps> That's cute. Hi, Miss Serena. I do have to fight him. I don't want it. Man, this is so cool. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a. Look at her. She's so cute. Look at her. Oh! <laughs> Look at her though. She's so cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right him into the dirt. <laughs> God, I would if I could. Oh, hey. I think this is so cute, actually. This is the cutest thing I've seen. I'm really happy with this. This music is also a banger. What? I love this. I'm so I am so I'm so happy. What? Please don't kill me. I'm small and fragile. Thanks, game. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. That's cute, though. That's so cute. I like this one. Look at her watching me. She's so cute with her on her, on her nice big chair. Wow. Kids don't look at explosions. Okay. Why does he blow himself off? That's not. That's not nice. I get like hit by that one in particular. That's cute. I like these attacks. A 
Okay, okay. I walked on that one. Four, five, six. Can I do seven? I can't do seven. Eight? Oh, seven only. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I really love the music though. I don't know whoever whoever composed it is a heckin' genius. Ow. I don't believe I didn't believe either. I uh I tend to take damage from every possible source instead of evaluating my survival. That's a cute song though. I wanna okay. Honestly, I'll I'll I'll, I'll take my time. I'll take my time. I'll enjoy the music. I love the song. Focus, 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 focus. Already? What? You focus on the timing of that. bombs at me anymore. I don't know, it's kind of disconcerting. Five, six, seven. Whoa. I don't like when he teleports behind me. He's doing this one a lot though, and this one's easy. Four, five, six, seven. I don't just the difficulty for you, <laughs> I know! I don't even think they're hiring a budget to auto adjust difficulty. That's a thing. Okay. Eh? Uh, high pressure, actually. Oh. Why is life hard? Come on, one HP, please. No! Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Focus, focus, focus. I do like. <laughs> I 
never got you to do that at night. Tifa could not do this. <laughs> Man, that one face in the middle kind of sucked. Why are you like this? I want to get more attack buffs. Where's my, where's my, I got one attack boost and where's my other ones? I got pretty far, I had to get pretty far. <sighs> focus, focus, focus. Maybe we will be here for a, for a decent amount of time. Come on, cat. I do like that the cat is wearing a cat in the, I wasn't coming. Could be a sis right after him, yeah. <sighs> Ugh. Come at me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> and they're both together. <laughs> God. I hope not. I don't think I can beat them together. I wanna I wanna learn fighting games. This just makes me think that. Because um in fighting games you have to learn to read your opponent really well, right? That's what I want to learn about games for. One, two, four, five, six, seven. I can do eight. I do like this part of the song though. I don't know, it's actually such a banger. <laughs> Wait, 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 why am I, why am I facing that way? I was like, I... <sighs> yeah, this game sucks. And this game sucks. And this game sucks. Nice! Hey, 2 HP in a dream. We're almost coming up to the entire Toho in one life. Dear God. Imagine Toho made you fight all the bosses at once. Jesus Christ. Maybe they do, maybe they do. I've never played Toho. A lot of heckin' bombs. It's really like three, no? What? Please don't hurt me. I need to time it better. How do you revive? I don't think it's the game that's <laughs> I mean, you're right. We caught all the come on, lost it. Man, if you know what would be easy, it'd be it'd be it'd be easy if it'd be easier if I had more more tag, you know. This is like learning boss fights all over again. Oh my! Sorry, I need to wall my depression for a little bit before I can fight. Come on, buddy, you and me. Let's one v one. I love Rondo style. That's a joke because the Rondo is a dance, not a fight. Nice. Aw, oh, I, I miscounted. I did six, not seven. What? What? I've never seen this before. He never does that. What the heck? Where is cheating? He's learning new attack styles and then kind of being gone. Man, I saw it. Gonna see you though, John Seymour. Is what I would say if I wasn't hacking losing! What? Man, I suck at this game. <laughs> Why does he 
jump at me like that. Focus, 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 focus. If I was the best ball of my speedrunner, how would I play this? One can only focus for so long. <sighs> I know. I didn't realize that this game would actually require effort and skill on my part. I'm gonna warm up my hands. That's what, that's what the problem is. My hands are too cold. Come on. You and me, Winnie. Let's fight. You and me, buddy. Let's go. Let's see who the real gamer is. Today's match. You need to stop like teleporting on top of me. That's actually weird. If he does a spin, he's gonna drop bombs on me. But if he just winks, it's bomb time. He twirls his hat and it spins. Means he's, it's bomb time. If he just if he just winks and bows, um, it's it's he explodes. And if he has, sticks his tongue out, he turns into a cat. I got it, guys. I have the read. And then after the cat form, he jumps out like that. And then if he goes backwards, he does a free three card maneuver, and he's gonna go in cat form right now. Oh shoot! But he needs to he will explode when he goes in cat form. We gotta keep that in mind. All right. You hit approximately eight times before we before before uh before the cat explodes. So you have that much time, now he's gonna explode. Alright, nice. After he explodes, I actually get one attack on him. Now he's gonna explode again. Nice. Eyes close. Alright. Sometimes he just teleports away, that's fine. Then nothing happens then. Oh. They won't get an attack here like this until they start setting up projectiles because of the little guys. Nice. Well played, well played, Latte. Ow, not well played. Ow! <laughs> Why is things. This thing sucks. I think I'm fighting against five enemies. They have a little bit of finickiness with the dash and the directional stuff, but it's okay. Any, let me back. Same movement pattern as before, except he's with one extra tie. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna explode. Nice. Three things. Explode. Nice. I'm getting better, I think. I feel like to help myself. I forgot to read that. There's a really tight window if you get cornered by the bomb. Dodge out. Bomb time. Okay, nice. Nice. Gotta commentate this. If I don't commentate, I'll actually like zone out. Okay, three. Oh, wait, no, it's a new move. New move. Stay in the corner. This music's killer on my glossy. That's true. This music is pretty banger. Oh! That's new. Okay, cat time. Oh. No mistakes from this point on. What? Okay. Um. Look at some of those movements. Okay, teleport. Oh, new 
move. In the corner. Nice, 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 nice. Easy. Be aware of where he teleports from. Tele oh no. Yeah, there's an explosion. Okay, cat, cat, cat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, okay, okay. When he hops out, yeah. We do it. My hands hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we did it. Oh, he finally got shade shade dash. Is that what it's called? Shade shade. Hey, he's back. Hey, buddy. Yeah, thanks for taking part in all performances. You're not strong enough to defeat any foe of yours. Thanks, dude. Token of thanks. Let me see you off. I saw me first try right latte. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh huh. No phase two. I I think that was phase two. Oh. <sighs> Oh, ooh, look for companion. Oh, hold on. I need to look for companion. Oh, right, my. Oh, I'm so cute. Oh, the mask! That's so cute. He says, going wrong here. The destination should be on one of the floors above. Okay. 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 So we're now in the evil god lady's palace. Um, what's. I need to know what this is, though. Oh! Haha! -ha! I knew there was a mystery involved. Oh man. I'm like still hopped up on up. I'm like still hopped up on hop hop. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm still hopped up on, on adrenaline from that. That's so cute. That's so cute. Look at her! <laughs> That's a very good disguise to be honest. I don't know what you're talking about. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I wonder how this goes, though. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Can I go back in? Thank you. That was bad. That was almost kind of bad. Nice. Very kind of... Oh, I'll sneeze. <coughs> Blech. <coughs> it's cold. I can, I can, I can kill them faster now. That's no use. My hands are so cold. Oh, bless you. <sighs> I'm a. Uh, oh. That could have been awkward. I have bad memories. I'm getting a little bit of a. I think I'm Magatama. Yay. Man, thank God. I can actually dash through stuff now. God damn. I miss these. I miss this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on. Let's fight the sniffer. Easy. We saw with the spikes, at least. True. I'm attacking who never noticed her. <laughs> of course, you gotta take the you gotta take the upper candle. You can, you know. Oh, okay. I got scared. That is spooky. Bro thinks he's funny, huh? Oh. Oh. Hey, I'm outside now. That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I can just. Oh! Get up there, okay. Why is this so hard, man? Why is jumping so hard? Okay, I'll go I'll, I'll, I'll through the normal way. Pew, pew. Okay, nice. 
Nice. Oh, let me do that. Ooh, ah! Okay, nice. We're safe. Okay, my hands are so cold, but hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the heat pad because it's very cold right now. This is what I got. Okay. Back to gaming. Is this on the roof? Oh! Well, I'm already on the roof. This is the left. I like that I just, oh, ow, nice. Well, I need three of them, still missing, still missing one Thunder Magatom, I have two? Oh, that's so cute, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I need to move my cam camera down, that's why I keep glitching out. One second, there you go. English gloves is the only way, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, the moon, the moon is so beautiful today, isn't it? That's awkward. Uh, you guys didn't see that, right? <laughs> what? I feel like I missed a power up, though. So this has, um, I'm only two out of four for uh, attack increases, right? Which means to me that I'm missing two somewhere. But well, where? Done everything I could have, right? Where could this remaining thing that I need be? What have I not explored yet? Then that is the first window you broke? Maybe. It's also the- oh, wait. Ha 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 ha! Wow, that's crazy. If only I was better at the game, I would've noticed this, I think. Oh! Well? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I got everything I needed to. In the ninja room? You think I'm missing something? Well, I'll take a look. Or do you think I already or or is the thing I just got that you're what thing you're talking about? Not probably not? Okay. They remind me, okay, sounds good. Oh! Oh! My mask! Ma'am, why would you do this to me? My mask. What? Cutscene. Yeah, there's cutscenes in this. <gasps> my girl, my jellyfish girl. How does she know it was you? Oh, final chapter. Late at night. Oh. Wow, she's balancing real good there. Wow, look at that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, she's so cool. You don't be nice right about now that last two attack buffs. Oh, this music. I love this track. It's one of my favorites. Ow. Stop dodging. It's really not nice. It's really not nice. Like, really, really not nice. Okay, okay. Ow. The difference is, you can't, you can't heal in this game like you can in Hollow Knight. Her head is like kind of fleshy, it makes a squishy, squishy noise. Okay, okay. Ow. 
Okay, okay. She's easier than before. I will say. Ow, never mind. Maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> oh no. She get sword out. No! I'm so cooked. I'm so cooked. Help me. Oh, never mind. She's bad. Never mind. Forget what I said. I can't show you here to say this the entire time. <laughs> um, let's go find those last two. Uh, let's go find those last two um attack increases, shall we? Yeah. What? Why are you here? Okay, where do they? Where can they be though? Hold on. I'm like thinking about this. Moonbeam. Yeah, I need to find out where these uh, last two last two uh, could be. Like we have our travel permits, but what am I supposed to do with them? All right. Like, like, like realistically, what do you do with the travel permit? You travel, right? Ow. This head hurt. Too hard. Our headed fella. There you go. Oh, yeah, we already came all the way over here, right? And there's nothing except for the HP increase. Let me go back to the starting area, yeah. This is for our future, uh, our goal. No, there's not. Let's jump in every possible location. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for secret rooms. That like that looks like it might be a secret room to the right. You see that? Where like is a weird like dark space? Maybe it's just like a weird rendering, right? They didn't render properly. Um, but I'm not gonna roll it out. Okay, I think they just didn't render properly. That's fine. I think it's just like texture just for differences. Okay, that's fine. Uh the floor maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking I'm looking really closely, but it's usually like pretty evident when there's a breakable thing. There's some dark spots every so now and then. Yeah, I think it's just a I think that's just like a visual glitch though, because um it's like fan made. And so it's like not like super, super it's like not like hyper hyper polished. I do wanna know where this goes though. I want to see if there's like a map. There's no map, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in the heck in Twilight Zone where I can't sneeze, but I also really desperately want to. Ugh. <laughs> okay, well. What, can I break this? I can! Oh. Oh, that's, 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 that's kind of anticlimactic, actually. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a little, that's a little anticlimactic. Now that I broke the bridge, like, now what, you know? Life is meaningless again. The bridge ha the bridge has been broken, but at what cost? I can't get on there. That's a secret. <laughs> you think so? 100%? You think so? Has to be. <laughs> well, for that version, we get to it. True. Ugh. Maybe, maybe we have more secrets back here. Oh, you know what? Actually, we did get a we did we get a strangely colored di dish. Oh, we already finished all those. There shouldn't be anything there. And the well, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking back to the starting area with the guy who's like really hungry. Maybe if we maybe if we give him a bad bad food, he'll be like he'll he'll be really mad and we'll fight him. 
and then he'll give us an attack buff afterwards, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking. That's my train of thought right now. Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Nothing there. Oh, he's gone. Well, there goes my plan. I would. I mean, I got what I wanted, but... Now what? Oh. You didn't see anyone else that wants to eat something weird? Right. A little crazy. I mean, I could be. Eats food. Who else? Who else? Like this guy evidently doesn't want to eat. Right? Can't interact with anything here. These guys are not hungry. You can tell by the demeanor. That's probably nothing because it looks like it's covered in like. I think I think it's just aesthetics. I hate food. Do you want the suspiciously? Nothing there. Um, asking the real questions. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go back in here. And then I guess we'll explore some more. Because it's like, who would want the strangely colored dish? What's that used for? There's so many questions to be had. We got to go in here, got the attack buff here. Who eats food, you ask? Yeah, who eats food? Would you eat a strangely colored dish? I don't think many people want a strangely colored dish, to be honest. Right? That's what logic dictates. But... Oh. There are many things that cannot be dictated by logic in this world. That's what I think. What the heck is a strangely colored dish? It's a strangely colored dish. It's just that. Don't worry about it. The more you think about it, the worse it'll get, so don't worry. Wait. Oh wait, what the heck? Wait, they're so close to each other. Wait, that's actually crazy. Um... There's like some strange things. I don't know what you're on about. I say only normal things, like a normal person. I'm so normal. Just girl things. <laughs> that is true, actually. This is the epitome of girlhood, huh? Okay. But this room... Oi! forgot about you. Cringe, to be honest. Hey, that doesn't give me any useful information. Maybe I do have to fight the boss first. Maybe we do have to fight the boss first. You know who else is the epitome of girlhood? I do not know who else is the epitome of girlhood. A circus about getting hit. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to make my life hard. Ow. Well, I'll go back to heal again. Nah, you know what? I'm not a coward. Only cowards will go back to heal after one taking one damage. Let's be for real. Well, she doesn't strike me as the kind of girl who's feminine. Whoa, 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 what's that supposed to mean? You wanna, you wanna explain? Your mom? I'm sure your mom is the epitome of girlhood. I'm sure your mom is uh, wonderful at uh, girl hooding this. Oh, hey, nice, that's right. I don't need to heal. Alright, surely this will be a marginal easier. 
She's so cool. She's so cool. She's so cool. <laughs> Please pull out your sword. I won't feel... I won't feel accomplished until she pulls out her sword. We have four HP to deal with the rest of her for the rest of her. Doable. Sword time, sword time! Sword time! Please don't hurt me. Watching at home, you guys don't understand. <gasps> anyway, you're man, not a girl. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys. That's actually insane. Oh, they stop getting hit by that. Please. Ow. Okay, this is not looking so good. I'll be real with you guys. It's a little bit dangerous for me. I do like the attacks though. Wait, wait, wait. Sword time? No sword. I'm cooked. I'm at a restart here. I might have to call it a, call it a run. Like you know, well played, well played. You know, try it again. <laughs> Never give up. No, no, no. It's a tactical. It's tactical. Tactical. Okay, we got it. We got it. Just like with the last last boss fight, we gotta 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 we gotta gotta think about her tells, all right? She dashes forward and she does that spin all the time for sure. And then when she goes far away from me, she does that. And sometimes when she when she does, she continues that with a with a chain of attacks like this one, all right? But then she's like, oh, never mind. She dashes forward again. Okay, never mind. I'm really bad at this. Um, now she's gonna dash forward. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ow, did I get hit by that? Can I dash forward? Yeah! Dash forward? Yeah! Dash forward? Yeah! <laughs> Far distance, yeah. Chain hack! Oh, dash forward, okay. Man, her tells are hard. I'm, I'm too stupid for this. Long distance attack? Yeah! Long distance? No! Sword time! Not sword time. <laughs> I hate spear wielders! Why are spear wielders- why do they have such long range? Because we need his lever giving up, true. I don't even- I don't know how to read this. Except, when she does this, she always she aims at me. And now she does that. Yeah, dash what? Um, um. Yeah. So true. Run very far away. That's my, <laughs> my, my plan. Please don't hurt me. Harry! Whoa, 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 Why are you teleporting like that? 
Ma'am. Not very nice. Okay, okay. My nose is itchy, hold on. Chill out. Chill, 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 chill. Hold on, let's, let's talk about this for a minute. Let us discuss this moment for 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 let us, uh, Please let us discuss this. We can talk about this. Oh I'm so cooked. Oh I'm so fried. Nice, nice. We made it out. Okay, actually this is this isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. This isn't that bad. She teleports everywhere, but it's okay. It could be worse. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. My buttons didn't work for a minute. Please. Let's talk about this for a minute. Okay. I cannot blunder. I cannot blunder. If I blunder here, I lose. All our work will be for you, be for not. Did we do it? She's on a boat. Mm. We did it! Damn, I didn't cry at all. I made it through the whole thing without crying. Nice. Nice. I need to credit some more creators, it looks like. <laughs> wow. Damn, one guy did all the heckin' programming and animation? That's actually rough. Um, whoever that guy is actually has my respect. <laughs> Ooh. She got a calling card. I'll see you next time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go! The last attack buff. You successfully completed the challenge. Thanks for holding on till the end. Is it a part? Is it? Is it? Is this new game plus? Hold on, I need that. I can one shot the slimes now. Life is good. Is there anything new and exciting in New Game Plus game? I ask, I, I beseech thee. Is there anything in a, a fun and exciting about New Game Plus? Samurai is still gone. Let us explore. Let's ex let us experience this one last time. Ow. That's toxic. You think they'll- I still don't know what my travel pass is used for. I got a travel permit, right? I don't- I still don't know what it's used for. What do I- what do I use my travel permit for? What do you guys normally use travel permits for? Just until we're back? Well, we got three new enemies, that's the thing. Like, the three enemies at the very start, they weren't there before. We still don't know what the- what the mysterious food does either. All right, so I gotta know. They were making to travel. Thanks. That's a wonderful advice. I'll I'll take it to heart. You think if I go back to the palace, I'll be able to talk to their 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 archon? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think that's a thing? Oh, I do need to rest here. Okay, hold on. If I come back here, you think she'll just be like waiting here for me, for chance? And I'll be like, hey. You don't think so? Man, ow. I wanna go for, take a look anyway. There's no way they added strange food for no reason, right? Hey fellas, ow. Ow. I just wanna see. Okay. I mean, she is still here. It's like, you know, I have to fight her if I want to see her again. 
Okay, well. Do you think I get anything if I beat her this time? If they added to the mess of you. <laughs> Just me in particular? There's no way, right? Are you trying winning? No. I'm, I'm like actively not trying to win. <laughs> beat her no hit? Well, actually, I'll try. I'll try it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it really good this time. Okay. I'm gonna focus real hard. Nice, nice, nice. Kill bar so good. Good dashboard now. I need to stop doing this. Well, now I need to die. Now I need to die. Actual endurance stream. I don't think I'd do it. I'm not like cut out for this kind of a... Uh, I'm not cut from that, that, that kind of cloth. I'm not a no hit gamer. If I was, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'd be on the speed running heckin' world record charts, you know? Okay, let's go take a look then. What else there is to see? Like maybe the, the the magician twins, the French magician twins want want it. I don't know. Really don't know. Worst case, we'll go on like the heckin' um guide guide wikis, you know. <laughs> hey Maggie, it's good to see. You. It's good to see you. Maybe there's something all the way over here for a chance. Please, please. I'm begging at this point. Oh wait. Oh, I saw something interesting here. Oh, I think it might just actually be this cave. I think it's literally just this cave. Yeah. In their mind. Have you seen that Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 back-to-back -back no hit run? Yeah, whoever did that, that, that person's like... Like, on one hand, that's like really, really impressive, right? But on the other hand, I worry for that person's mental health. That can't be good for the mind and soul. You know, humans are not meant to be perfect creatures. We are not meant to attain perfection, right? And so to to train yourself for hours and hours and hours upon end to reach a level that no human has ever done before, that's that's like there's something there's something wrong with your head, right? I was bring a guitar <laughs> guitar and dancing what? I didn't I've not heard about that one. We are, and yeah, we're not. It's crazy. As creatures, we were not meant to attain perfection, but you know what was? The hermit crab. The hermit crab was built to attain perfection. But we are not hermit crabs. We are merely humans. And so therefore, we were not meant for to, 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 to reach the peak of society. Just being Elden Ring using weird controllers? That's actually crazy. Can we talk? So I think God was saying because he didn't want to share the divine nectar, so I'm going to start going. <laughs> Fair. Um, I want to see the, I want to see, I want to see the, the 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 pretty lady again though. The blue, the blue lady. This fight might have cost me a little bit of my sanity, but it's okay. I made it out in the end, and that's all that really matters. Notice me, ma'am. I'm here. I'm uh, performing this performance just for you, my lady. Please notice me. Play X tournament. Not since you do contest someone three minutes late. What? I'll read that. I'll read that in a moment when I'm not playing. <laughs> That sounds insane. What?
Justin Poison says, damn. That's crazy. That is kind of nasty. Nasty. Nasty, that's the word. I'm not delusional yet. My English is still functional. Oh, wait. I can actually beat this thing, though. Does that take me 5,000 damage? Probably. Easy! One hit slimes. She is crazy. <laughs> I think I just have a, I have, I have a problem with looking at chat too much. Is that, is that, well, that, is, that is my problem as a streamer. I read chat too much and so I'm really bad at games when I do that. How to get hit by the slimes? Listen. <laughs> Listen, don't worry about it. Don't think about it too hard. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. The only solution is to not think about it. I play Apex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really- I'm really bad at Apex, mind you, but I have played it. Damn, that is hard to dodge. When you're not at the edge of the screen already. Look at her! Did you see her- did you see her mouth open? She's like, oh, That's cute. My lady. My most sincerely beloved. Such a cool song. Yay! I want to suggest the other reactions. Oh. <laughs> it's your. It's our fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Dodge enemy attacks! Thanks, game! That's crazy. So 17 drop commands and what the hell is going on? <laughs> That's actually funny. Oh. Okay, real quick though, I actually wanna find out. I actually wanna find out. Um Um Let's see. Our animations, blah 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 blah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Do people in the comments of this? It's really funny. People in the comments of this tweet that announced the game are just like, oh, this is way too hard. Come on, this is like artificial difficulty scaling. Whoever, why, why is it so unfair? Why is, why is it so many hits to kill the enemy? Why, why hard? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> These guys. <laughs> that, it took some people three hours. <laughs> you got <laughs> the comments are actually really funny. This game is too hard. This is too difficult and unbalanced. <laughs> oh my god. Is it bugged? Why do we lose a heart when we touch them? That's so funny. Sorry. Um, I'm I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <sighs> Man. Um, I just wanna I just wanna know how you get the uh how you get the um. What's it? How you use the strangely colored dish? Can I kind of look this up? Strange strangely colored dish. Okay, well, interestingly enough, people don't people don't talk about that. That's crazy. Punch zombies have actually affects their single punch. Punching very little shooting. Understandable. Let's see. Um, you want the dish? Okay, okay. You guys think they can't get past the samurai? Crazy. I just want to know how you what you use this for, man. <laughs> I might be giving up. 
I think I think online people might might not be the best source. You play League? I do. I I I barely know anything about League. I thank God I don't spec into that at all. Oh, all right. Well, that's enough for today, I guess. <laughs> Um, this is about 20 or so minutes until I usually end the stream, so we'll, we can chill here for a minute if you guys want to talk about some stuff. Well, life and love and, um, the experience of being alive, you know, let's, let, let us discuss, you know. I'm, um, wonderfully, um, equipped to discuss all manner of things, which is why I stream, to be honest. Um, I think actually now that I'm, now I'm like a second thought, I think probably the suspicious dish you can give it to the samurai guy. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could just give it to this- Like, I, if I didn't give the the good dish, I probably could have given him the weird dish. So, huh. Anyway. Um... I feel a draw one as the answer for you, if it's monthly brain damage to continue at a playing tournaments in full book of four hours. I understand, both tournaments are really hard to uh, think about, for sure. If flatmates keep kept pestering to eat barbecue, you should go eat barbecue, but after the stream. You should say, hold on a minute. I I I I have to finish watching the stream. If I don't finish watching the stream, um, I will I will I'll, I'll, I'll like combust like physically. You know, that's what you tell them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do want barbecue though. I'm actually going out to a friend's uh, birthday uh, tomorrow. So that's gonna be really exciting. Um, I'm going to a restaurant that I wanted to go to for like literally years, but it's like a group kind of restaurant, and I haven't had the chance to eat with my friends in the group for a while, so really exciting to me. I hope you guys wish me happiness. Um, I'll post your photos in my members feed if you guys want to check that out. I don't want to eat barbecue? Oh. Oh, I mean, I, if, you, if you don't want it, I mean, that's also a thing, alright? <laughs> Have fun, I will! Um, it's a really famous restaurant that opened branches overseas. Um, I can't tell you guys what it is because I might dox myself, but uh, I know that they have like legendarily good service, right? I don't know if it'll be the same, you know, in Canada, but it'll be really cool. Oh, that one too late. <laughs> you guys know the game called Gigantic? No, I'm actually not a. My knowledge of games, in terms of the my my breadth of game knowledge, is not very large, but yeah. McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's. I'm going to McDonald's for my friend's birthday tomorrow. We got a reservation and everything. That's gonna be really, really exciting. Um Oh yeah, but also don't don't worry, you guys will you guys will still be getting more on me this 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 week uh, this week. Um I will actually be streaming again in uh, two days on a I sh I should have made an announcement last week, but I forgot. Um I'll be streaming again in two days. I'm doing a collab with some some other VTubers, including For All World and I I don't remember the other one off the top of my head, I'm sorry. No, that's why she does anything, she never does. <laughs> it's true, I'm not a... Uh, I, I know something sometimes, so... But yeah, you guys will see me in two days. Uh, in, 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 in roughly, uh, what, like 6 plus 24? No, wait, 6 plus 36. It's so like 42 hours, and about 40 or so, 2 hours or so. You guys will see me again, so isn't that exciting? First call I've said our family excited. <laughs> yeah. That'll be pretty, pretty exciting. So you challenge me to draw myself be uh oh, oh. That's crazy, Maggie. Um unfortunately I don't please keep that uh information uh, outside of the stream. Thank you. Um but yeah, so I'm uh yeah, I'm spending a lot of money this week though. Actually now that I'm thinking now that I'm thinking about it, I'm spending a lot of money this week. I need um it's time to live as a hermit for the next month after this, huh? <laughs> probably also doesn't help that I have to, uh... Probably doesn't help that I have to do exams as well. Alright, well, that's, 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 that's rough, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay, I, I, I hope I did well. I hope I did well on my exams. Is game music so loud? It is a bit loud, you're right. Just don't hit your bank account? Honestly, you're so right. That is the number one solution to um, financial difficulty. <laughs> Honestly, I think about this. I, I, every 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 couple of months or so, I consider like you know, wouldn't it be real? Wouldn't it be nice to move to America? Like the specifically the middle of nowhere kind of America, where houses are like 
like like like in like, I don't know 200k right per house right like sure there's nothing around but you got a house for 200k right like that sounds kind of awesome <laughs> take a look at them me tell you didn't make me happy <laughs> Lata, you already live in America? Sorry, sorry. The middle of USA is what I mean. Oh, I guess, like, the middle of nowhere Canada is also fine. But the thing is, in the middle of nowhere Canada is it's expensive. Because there's no supply lines or anything. So, she doesn't know she could live in the woods. Honestly, if I knew how to make a treehouse, I'd be, like, living Minecraft. <laughs> if I if I knew how to make a treehouse, I would live in, I would be li living like I was in Minecraft. I would be making a treehouse at the top of some random tree, right? Yeah, and I'd be living in there, and I'd deck the whole place out with like, I don't know, I don't know what we put in treehouses normally. I still want to live in a treehouse though. <laughs> like IRL, that sounded so cool, man. Living in the woods sounds hard. Oh yeah, yeah, but like, um, specifically, I mean in like the suburban woods, right? Um, I don't know about if you guys have this in your parts of the world, but in Canada in particular, we or in Ontario, I guess. Um, we have what's called like the green belts, I believe, which is basically a segregated, segregated specialized segment of um, land that we specifically maintain for the purpose of retaining like good ecological health, right? And for like the wildlife to be able to make their homes there, right? And then it also helps with their, um, if they have like migration patterns, right? We have the green belt to help uh, facilitate uh, wildlife growth and like populations. So we have like, uh, and they're, they're pretty, they're like really connected too, right? Um, so it, it's, it's, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, yeah, as well. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I wasn't really familiar with how popular it was as a concept. They're like, um, modern city building and stuff, but it is really, really heckin' cool. Um, uh, I used to, I used to, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the point of that. I don't remember the point of me mentioning this, but I was like thinking of it then. I was like, wow, it's so cool that we consider stuff like this sometimes. Um, but actually, uh, there, the, uh, politics talk. I don't like, po I, I talk about politics a little bit often for somebody who doesn't want to talk about politics a lot on stream because, you know, a lot of people talk about politics and I think everyone has good opinion. Well, not everyone, but I think a lot of people have good opinions on politics and I think a lot of people have bad opinions on politics. So I don't want to be a person to talk about politics because I don't know enough to make an informed decision but I did hear that my my uh, Toronto's governor the the mayor guy I think he's planning to cut down on the green space that we have in Toronto which is kind of silly to be honest uh, we got to maintain our uh, our good ecological impact in the world you know we got to be aware of our ecological impact in the world as humans who have the most uh, effect on the society as a whole yeah is that one green cord in my room where you just don't clean it out the wild like live freely <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, I do actually remember though, as a result of this green belt, I remember that there was like a few years ago, there was like a whole shenanigan. The shenanigans where like a bear escaped. I can't say escaped because like he just wandered into some guy's backyard, and then they had to they had to figure out how to get the bear back. That's crazy. Because of being environmentally conscious, we can't live. <laughs> True. It's hard being in a place that exists and stuff. You also need to build houses so people from Ontario stop coming here and buy all of ours. There's no winning option. That's also true, yeah. It's, um, like, I don't, like, one of the things I really, really hate about, um, economy, I guess, is that everything is, like, we're very revolving around finances, right? People don't, like, I think I was talking about this. I don't remember who I was talking this to, and this is, like, also treading politics territory, but I think it's really, it's really silly how our focus on finances as a society has caused us to, um, create, go to, go, go towards everything with the idea of specifically focusing on the profit that is involved instead of actually innovating to create stuff that is good for society. Like, the, in, the invention of insulin was actually incredible, right? And it's a very, and then the guy who sold the patent sold it for like a dollar to a university so people could get a free access to it very easily right and then america came along and decided hey you know what we should make insulin really expensive for people because you know ha 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 right <sighs> only in the u.s yeah for real <laughs> well it was a bit more problematic than ours <laughs> Our biggest fear species are wash bears. What's a wash bear? I've never heard of wash bears. 
People with all money have been co-opting all kinds of society's levers for hundreds of years now, for real. We have pretty cheap insulin over here. I think in Canada it's also pretty cheap, but the thing is, because we're so close to America, we tend to when t we tend to get messed up, or we can we tend to get like involved in a lot of like American kind of ideas in politics and like economics, right? And so we have free healthcare, but only to a point, right? To only to an extent. Like I believe eye exams. Um, I wanted to get an eye exam, but it's only it's only like covered by the government until you're like 19 or something, right? And then afterwards, you have to pay for it out of pocket, right? And I think it's so stupid, right? The dental care and eye care isn't part of your national health insurance because it's like, I guess they're not part of your body for whatever reason. I guess it's not important enough for your health for some reason. Lots of sugar and everything, so I'm against diabetes and needs insulin. That's also a thing, yeah. Like, I think um, American food tends to get, tends to get like a bad reputation for being really unhealthy and being like really bad, right? And like the, the part of that comes from the fact that I've never seen a grocery store in major cities in the US. Um, I've only been to major cities in the US for the record. I haven't been to the minor cities in the US, but I've only seen like convenience stores have grocery foods um, when it comes to major cities in the US, which I think is a really uh, concerning pattern, especially since it's so much easier to just get like, like heckin buffet style food at a convenience store in the US. And I, I, I legitimately think it's like, it's, it's really dangerous. And have you guys seen the American large sized drink Drink. Like in Canada, right? And I, I assume most other parts of the world, a large size drink is like probably 750 milliliters. Is that right? Um, 750 milliliters is nothing to scoff at, right? But in the US, a large size like soda is like a heckin, one heckin liter. It's actually insane. Like the entire like cup is like it's literally the size of your head kind of thing. It's really, it's really not good. And that's only a dollar or something too, which is, I mean, it makes sense considering the price of soda because soda is really cheap to manufacture. But also the fact that soda is they give you that much soda anyway is actually insane, right? Watch are raccoons. Oh, okay. I did not know that was another name for them. Insulin is expensive here. Ten years ago, roommate mine had to move back because his insulin is 700 a month after he lost his dad's health insurance. Wow. That's actually not, that's actually crazy. That's actually insane. One liter cup of soda is insane. Yeah, it's literally so big you can barely hold it with your hands. And like, when it comes to the fact that like, I mean, I guess fast food isn't so cheap anymore, right? Like fast food now is like not even cheap person food. It's like mid-tier meal food, which is kind of actually also kind of weird, right? We only have one liter comes of beer over here, crazy Americans. <laughs> Honestly, um, I saw a um, I saw people talking to recently about how companies in in their uh, aspirations to maximize profits. Um, are universally kind of downsizing the size of their products and also increasing their costs, right? So you have like a Gatorade, or I can't say, probably shouldn't say brands, but you'll have like an energy drink brand, right? Off the top of my head and they'll have like, oh yeah, we had a 750 milliliter bottle before, but now we have 730 milliliters and due to inflation, we're also raising the cost by a whole dollar kind of thing. It's actually rough out here. And like, I re like realistically, I think the only way to, to change these systemic issues is to um, kind of like create policies where that's, uh, you know, where, 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 where that cause, the, you know, but the thing is, um, the governments won't create policies that will make companies weaker because companies directly affect the influence that they have in a certain country. And it's really like weird the way that we live in a pseudo oligarchy. Pseudo um, and I, I, I really shouldn't be talking about politics because I don't know enough about him, but <laughs> charge more for less. Yeah, that's like the basis of economics now too. And like, like heckin apartments and stuff in Canada. Well, I also like the, in the GTA, so the greater Toronto area is like actually insane. Like most, most apartments and condos and stuff like for one bedroom will go for over a million dollars out here and it's really it's not it's not okay grocery stores have roast record profits the last four years in a row and increased the price because they have to survive that's also the insane thing right like minimum wage hasn't increased at all or i mean it has increased in some parts of the parts of the world but like realistically in most parts of the world the minimum wage is still very small very like very low right i believe um the calculated minimum wage to live in around toronto ish is like $22 per hour, but right now the minimum wage is 15 or so dollars an hour, which is kind of not cool. Um, the fact that people have to work multiple minimum wage jobs for 40 plus hours a week is actually not okay, I think. It's actually very dangerous. I actually, but I did see actually, there was a fork... <laughs> not related to politics and whatever. I saw that there's a um, forklift driver, uh, you know, you could get paid 20 to $25 an hour for being a forklift operator and I was I was thinking about that and I was like huh it's crazy how this pays more than being a heckin fast food worker 
long as marketing is more important than quality, the problem won't go away. Also true. I think there's a lot of issues that we can't really fix as individuals, and it really has to come from like the higher ups in power. But the thing is, higher ups in power won't really have the, or they won't really feel like they are able to, because even if they want to personally, um, they wouldn't. Like if they wanted to, they wouldn't be backed by a company in the first place. And second of all, if they were backed by a company in the first place, they wouldn't like make those policies because then their companies would stop backing them, and then they would lose power. So it's rough. How do people earn low enough to live a happy life? I know, it's actually insane. And I wish I wish that, like, you know, I, I, I think um people value having like okay. I'll be real. I think I think I think people I, f I feel like I feel like the more I I see online about people, the more I cry a little bit inside. Like, um I I, I saw I, I see both ends of the spectrum being like kinda like, huh, are we sure we really wanna do this? Right? Like, on the one hand, I think, like, people who are, like, I, like okay, uh, uh, sorry. Well, I'm trying to, trying to figure out how to say this part of my brain correctly because it's just, like, a jumbled plus right now, so I need to, like, stir and then consolidate. So give me one moment. <laughs> I've just been spreading words kind of from memory so far. Well, the deep social ennui in this Genshin Vex stream, yeah. <laughs> I don't like to talk about politics. I like talking about, um... The society, though, society is interesting, but just so happens that politics are as ingrained in the society because of the way that we live. And honestly, it'd be nice to live. It'd, it'd be nicer to live in a place like the heck in, I don't know. It'd be nicer. To, it'd be nicer to live in a place where we didn't have to worry about this. Hey, Shina, you came at a really weird time. Let's talk about some uh, social social uh, injustices. You know what else I think is kind of social injustice? Okay. The thing I was talking about earlier was more about like I think people are really bad at finances in general, and I think that everyone should learn how to use, how to how to be good at finances. And realistically, like I'm not very good at finances, mind you. <laughs> I'm like adequate at best, but um, I think in general people people we should we should like learn uh, in general to to be to be better at managing money because I think that um, life would be a lot better if we were. And also, I think it'd be important for people to learn about the consequences of their actions in general. Just like you just you know as an off 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 uh off 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 what off-handed statement i guess two eyes side versus the air side everyone's stuck in live stream we take everything by, things by issue by issue we all come up with the same solutions but we'd vote in teams instead also true i agree with that actually i think it is and i think a lot of it does end up being like especially nowadays um because um how do we say this it's like i think when it comes to times of great conflict right so social homosexuality is treated in Asia. There's injustice in in, all, in homosexuality is the way it's treated all over the world, I believe. Um, and I think like thinking. Of, thank you for the tip of the day. I have used to learn. That's <laughs> uh, uh, my condolences. <laughs> thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of social in issues, right? And like the kind. Of, I think it comes to like um, in times of. Okay, hold on. How do I how do I say this well? Let me formulate this one in my brain. So, I think in general, humans kind of tend to like tend towards conflict, right? It's kind of um, inevitable, right? Um, and in our uh, pursuit of I don't know, understanding the world, and in our pursuit of um being human i guess we have a, we spend a lot of time um trying to convince ourselves and also other people that we the things that we believe in a particular are right right because you know the things that you believe obviously are the most correct to yourself um but when it comes to the things that end up getting in large scale when it comes to like large scale issues um where it's not as clear it becomes more... Mm, when people have large-scale disagreements, nuance tends to be lost. And so the details tend to get blurred and people tend to choose a side and become a more... Um, like, 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 like... extreme in their beliefs the more that they talk about it, right? Don't tend to have an idea out there. Yeah, I should, I'll show you. I think everyone likes to disagree. That's, that's basically my point, right? 
And I think, it, like, at some base level, we do, like, seek to understand why the disagreement happens. But the thing is, when we come, when it comes to, like, big disagreements, and then people who are already very extreme, stream, extremitized, extre streamed in their belief, um, it, it tends to lead to not very good conversation. Current culture war is a largely construct. It wasn't always this bad. Oh yeah, I think partially it's because, you know, we used to have like literal actual wars. <laughs> I think part of it is we used, we used to literally actually have wars, like civil wars and stuff. Um, when, when we had a disbelief, when we had like a belief like this. And I think this is definitely something that is completely new for our society. Because, <coughs> sorry. Um, it's not like it's gonna be like an individual or like even a group of people who are going to be able to say like yeah the thing that we believe is absolutely completely right because i think in general it's good to like w seek to like disagree within reason all right i don't know i'm saying a lot of words that don't really make sense but basically it's like the idea is like we have we, we disagree not because um Mm, not because of like inherent differences, I guess, but it's more like because we talk to people who agree with us, and the more that you talk to people who are on you quote unquote your side, the more um, extreme you get in your belief, right? In general, um, and so it tends to be that you know if you don't listen to a different argument with like an open mind and a like a sense of wanting to understand instead of fighting um it tends to be that like society in general tends to be more 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 segregated in ideas echo chambers are much more powerful because of algorithms showing you want to see also true yeah i mean i think echo chambers are always always bad i think the issue is like i think um i think i'm saying something I'm, i think something i think i know i know for a fact that social media has been generally kind of bad for us as a society because um a we're being exposed to a lot of different opinions and we in sorting out opinions we have to make more assumptions right so if you find something you disagree with you're it's more easy now because there's so much content to just disregard the stuff you disagree with as opposed to like hearing it out right another thing is like you're basically giving people in general a lot of your own time whenever they want it, right? Before, you had to send letters and wait five, three to five business days for a response by mail. But now you can just text someone and they'll reply immediately. And I think that's also a problem with society, you know? The right wing echo chamber web is a teen, seeing only the worst of the opposite makes it hating very easy. That's also true. Echo chambers, aka Twitter. Um, I think friend groups too. I think I had a, I had a conversation with, um, I mod Luma recently, actually yesterday. Um, about something similar, not about politics, but about language. Um, and this is actually really interesting. You guys are really curious about language. Um, but basically the idea is groups of people, uh, when hanging out together and talking uh, over an extended period of time, they will develop their own accents, right? So literally, if you are talking with somebody, like in a small group of people, and for a long enough time, that's how a new accent is born. And even like, in an individual family. You consider Luma a friend? I, saw, I would say Luma's, Luma's a buddy of mine, yeah. Um, but like it, like even in Antarctica, they had to, they ended up developing, like the researchers on Antarctica developed their own accent and their own slang and their own lingo. And that's how all groups of all uh, nationalities and all regions and whatever. For latte. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, <clears throat> hold on, I need to drink some water. Ah, okay. Ah, wah, wah, wah. Ah, ah, ah. They talk more naturally. Hold on. <laughs> um, it's a factor that like people get the same emotional rush from talking about the issues online, fighting the ideological war on screen. You know, actually taking to the street. That's also true. I think if you talk about somebody, if, I think if you have like a respectful conversation with somebody who disagrees with you on an ideological level, um, you'll have a very different conversation than having it online because online you kind of don't really get the feeling like you're talking with another person. It's very different. But Discord, li Discord lives entirely in Discord. Twitter and Discord. That's also true. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I would say so. I think people do disagree in person, but in general, like people are kind of empathetic and like generally trying to be nice, but 
I think the way that people go about disagreeing online is like really hostile, right? And even if we're like, if you guys have seen like TikTok challenges, not TikTok challenges, but like TikTok people are just like, oh yeah, I joined a, a mega rally and to troll people, right? And like, I'm not gonna lie, um, like I disagree with the mega philosophy and I also don't like their leader, but like, I'll be real with you guys. If I had a belief and I went to a protest or I went to like a, a, a rally to, to, to align with people with my beliefs or to talk about my beliefs and some heckin' guy was like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, um, so what do you think about your leader uh, and this like thing that he committed? I'd be kind of mad too. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> so, um, people talk about bad behind you, but back in different language. Oh, I mean, I think I, I think I think that's normal. I think it's natural for people to, um, how do I say? I don't remember what I was gonna say. I I I I, I, don't, I don't remember my point here. They would go to the Instagram comment section. I don't use Instagram anymore. I last time I used. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear? Okay, it's not related. Not related. Not related. For the record, not related. But you guys want to hear a small story? Well, I've talked about this on stream before. Um, but basically, there was a point where um, I was thinking about some old friends, right? I was thinking about some old friends of mine um, from like high school and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I should go. I should reach out to them and say hi. I was. I, it's been. It's been a long time. I haven't talked to them in a long time. And so I, I DM'd them on Instagram, like, it's like September, right? You guys, I still haven't gotten a response. <laughs> it's been, it's been, what, half a year? It's been more than half a year now since I DM'd them in the first place. I know that, I get, inst I get notifications from Instagram saying that this person has added to their story, so I know that I'm just being ghosted. That's rough. That's the rest of you on the conversation on TikTok. I think TikTok, TikTok generally has its own problems. So I think TikTok is a kind of, um... I think it tends to attract a lot of children, and I think exposing children into an environment where there's a lot of strong opinions and exposing children to an environment where there's definitely a lot of negativity is uh, very dangerous. Uh, this amazing business opportunity for you. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't that. It was more like, hey, it's been a long time since we talked. Like, you know, um, I hope you've been well. Um, I, I just wanted, I just wanted to mention. I was like, I was like thinking about you, you know. It's, it's like it's been a while, you know. We should catch up sometime. That's, that's basically what I said, man. I got kind of depressed actually just thinking about that. Hold on. <laughs> Funny start TikTok is the comments personally. Oh, I mean that's that's fair, but I mean. I just don't I just don't like the idea that like children are putting themselves online in like popularity contests online. The amount of sophistication and misinformation is getting crazy. Oh that's true, that's true. Misinformation is one thing, but it's more like I just don't like the idea of children like I don't know if you guys had this in like high school and whatever, but like there's like definitely a lot of like envy around being popular in person in high school and stuff, right? And I think the idea of having that same thing put online for like millions people of people to see potentially is really, really bad. I know it's like for you, but they don't even need them to inform us. My city hired a guy who defrauded both Halifax and West Long County Alberta to be our CEO. He's hired all put his clients back into the public. Then he just got what? That's actually crazy. That's actually insane. I also don't like the idea of children. <laughs> the word of misinformation. Yeah. 4 a.m. night. Sorry, G. <laughs> we ended up talking a lot tonight. I hope you guys will sleep soon, though. Been after two years of getting fired from financial concern. Wow, no kidding. Nepotism goes hard, I guess. Social media should keep the teachers all cast. So if I being fed validation hate all the time, I'd be go crazy. Yeah, I think, like, I can understand as like a teenager wanting to be online and wanting to be popular and wanting to gain validation, right? If you especially, especially if you don't get that in person. But also, I feel like um, I feel like there's I have like a lot of strong thoughts about like uh, like raising children and like h how we treat children as a society, right? I like I think I think in general most of the people my age and the people older than me and the and the people younger than me to be honest like literally everyone I know 
talks about like, man, I hate children, right? Like, man, I think children suck. I think teenagers should not be allowed on the internet, right? And I think it's like fair in some respects, but I also think it's like, as a teenager, you gotta, you kind of get disrespected all the time. We're not even as teenagers, a child in general, it feels like you don't have any rights, nobody respects you for your opinions and whatever. And it really is tough, right? And like part of like how we systemically raise children is kind of problematic and it enables behaviors such as uh, seeking online um, like validation in order to feel as like a person, right? How incredibly important we are, the most innate issues were when you were a teen. <laughs> I mean, I also th I do think children, though, especially, have a lot of free time on their hands, and so they can worry about a lot of societal injustices. And I think that's really important as a society because as you as you get older, you kind of don't you kind of like worry less about things that don't personally involve you because like your life is more important, right, than everyone else's. At when when you reach like I don't know 20, 20 something. Children are free to trade like property, especially in America. That's also true. Yeah, um, it's better than before when children were meant to be seen and not heard. Um, but like, even now I feel like, it, like growing up I definitely felt like kind of invalidated because I was a, not, I was a child, you know? Um, I, there's, there, 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 I have, I have, I have like some, I have some like decent childhood trauma, right? <laughs> I'm sure everyone does. I'm sure everyone has a little bit of, like a little bit of childhood trauma, rather, whether, rather, like whether you got bullied or your parents were a little neglectful or like, um, you know, your parents mistook you for your other sibling, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> right, everyone's got a little bit of that. But, um, I think, like, a lot of things would get better if we treated children better, and that's, like, that's kind of the thing I've found, um, with, like, I don't know if you have seen t teachers online complaining about how bad their students are nowadays, right? Like, um, like, students are, like, really, really toxic nowadays, and that's reflected in the way that their parents likely treat them. Um, if you look at, like, especially in America, because I don't know about the rest of the world, because I only see stuff from America, really. But, like, in, in, in America particularly, there's a lot of, like, very hateful parents who spread their same, their same beliefs to their children. And that's really, I think that's really bad as a general kind of, like, vibe. That one seemed pretty specific. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm fine. I actually, I actually worked through all my, 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 my childhood trauma, so we're, we're good, I think, probably. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go through with a therapist. I just kind of repressed it, and then I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Fridays for the future that gets lost by politicians. I don't know if Fridays for the future is actually. I've never heard about that. You can't really raise your kid well when you have to work two jobs to feed it. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, and that's true, but I also think it's like, it's different, right? Like, obviously there's some parents that can't treat their kids, like, who can't raise their kids well because of, um, like, you know, like, physical limitations, right? But there's also, like, um, the things that you teach your child in terms of, like, ideologically, that's, like, very dangerous and harmful. There's always more to dig up. Oh, that's true. If parents expect teachers to babysit their hellions while they didn't raise them while school pay them pennies. Yeah, it's really tough being a teacher. Honestly, like, I feel like the more I think about it, the more, like, life kind of just sucks to be, like, alive in general. In, in general? In general. It's really hard to deal with people. Yeah. The huge youth movement weekly protests with millions of teens. Wow. I might have heard of it, but honestly, I've been kind of, like, living in a bubble since... Um... Gosh, when did that start? I, I've been... I basically haven't talked to people that far out of my circle since I was like, like 14, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I have this, this I, I, I'm legitimately kind of under a rock. Even I, I, I think it's got, I think it only got worse since COVID. But yeah, no, I, I heard that, that's, that's really interesting. Um, Greta Thunberg, oh, I have heard of her, yes. Social isolation gang, yay! It's I don't think it's social isolation, it's more that like I just don't make a lot of new friends. Um, which is like honestly, I, I think that's fine for me because I have a, a nice support circle of good friends. 
and I have a lot of like nice people who I care about, and I have a lot of people who, in my vicinity who, like you know, I, I appreciate and respect, including you guys. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, I really, I like that you guys are here for me when I talk about stuff like this, <laughs> and I appreciate that you guys generally have like pretty insightful thoughts and uh, things to say, and I that, that makes me really happy. I re I really like that. That makes me happy. Thank you. Uh, sitting in Discord call someone when I went to high school with the hearings. Twin kids trying to get us. Twin kids! I mean, on one hand, like, that's actually rough, right? Like, um. So that, that's. It's. 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 It's bad on two. <laughs> it's bad on two ways. <laughs> Like on one hand, damn, someone your age has, has has two kids, not just one but two, and like I understand like it's twins, right? But it's also, like two kids, right? I think about like, oh yeah, my friends are getting married, and I get I get a little bit sad, like wow, that, that wow, yeah, you're wow, you're getting married, <laughs> congratulations! I hope you have a happy marriage, I hope you have a happy life. But also, it's like yeah, I think um. There's a lot of, um, also, inf like, mm... Sorry, I'm not, like, um, sometimes, sometimes I have to organize my brain cells and that doesn't work so well, so... I have to, like, I have to, like shuffle. I have to shuffle the deck. I feel very appreciated by you, but respect. <laughs> Isn't chat mostly full of people around 30? Are you guys around 30? I think my analytics says you guys are, like... I believe it was like 20, 20, sorry, 18 to 25 mostly. And then there is, uh, I think that's like 60%. And then like, like 30% is like 25 to 32 in that area. I want to say I am 28. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. But I think, I think, I think we, we, I think we are specifically in the 18 to 32 range. 28, 29. Wow. 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 Millennials are out here. <laughs> Sorry. I get kind of sad when I think about how young my brother is. Man. God. <laughs> You're old. That's rough. Getting called old by someone literally a year younger than you? That is actually toxic. Let me take a look though. I haven't been checked in like a little bit. Let's see. Um. Oh, I lied. This, the 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 last twenty eight days. It's actually skewed more to twenty five to twenty four. Thirty four. Wow. We are getting we are getting old people in chat lately. But it's really funny. We don't get anyone in any other age demographic. It's only eighteen to thirty four. It's a pretty hard year. Yeah, I'm sure. How do you guys feel about how do you guys feel about children born under uh or after the year two thousand? <laughs> How do you guys feel about people born after the year 2000? <laughs> Next year, I'll talk a retiree. <laughs> God. Don't remind me. You mean top lane? <laughs> <laughs> We're at this old new now is born after 2010. Oh god, I don't I don't like thinking about people born after 2010, especially. A lot of them are adults now, that's true, that's true. This uh this generation is uh you know what do you guys ever think about how today is the youngest day that you'll ever like today is the youngest that you'll ever be ever again? Have you ever guys you guys think about that? You guys ever think about that? How like you'll you'll never get any younger than you are today, like at this specific very moment? That's crazy. <laughs> If you can't remember 9-11, you can't qualify as a citizen! <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism, right? It's a coping mechanism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you remember the Alamo? I feel like if I- I feel- I feel like at some point I'll like- I'll like accidentally leak. I'll- I'll like reveal- Hey, we're back! Welcome back, guys. I hope you guys had a good two minutes of rest. I forgot that since I have to insert my ads manually now, because I said it that way, I have to actually insert the ads manually. That's crazy. 
Was she gonna accidentally reveal? <laughs> she put <it> all over. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be, one day, one guy, one day, you guys will talk about like a certain event that happened in this specific year, and I'll be like, ah, oh, I was not alive during that time, and you'll be like, oh. right? Maybe I'll reveal to you guys, like, oh yeah, COVID. Yeah, I remember being four during that time. <laughs> I remember being a four when COVID happened. <laughs> Could you guys imagine? <laughs> Man, or I could be like, oh yeah, like when I, well, you know, back in my day, you know, um, I remember, I remember World War Two. Yeah, <laughs> my father was enlisted. <laughs> but a lot of doesn't remember the fall cause. <laughs> um, she chose the for good. Yeah, I forgot. I am. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Shake your head a little bit. Oh, yeah, this switch is my first console. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, I've never had a console, I believe. I think the, my only console that I've ever had was the Wii. I've never had anything before or after that. That is between 8 and 80. <laughs> you know, that's a pretty odd, that's a pretty, pretty broad range, you know? Pretty broad range. But yeah, I think I only had like three games on the Wii, too. That's. That's crazy. How did I live my life? How did I? How did I survive? One princess will actually pay for <laughs> You know, sometimes, sometimes I think about how people don't know what floppy disks are. Right? It's, that's actually crazy. Like they're like heck. My 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 teenage brother knows what a floppy disk. I think. Does my teenage brother know what a floppy disk is? Does does he know what? I need to ask. I need to ask. Are you the real game? Have you played Animal Crossing for even a picosecond? Um, honestly, actually, no. Be the same symbol. <laughs> God, you know, God. <sighs> Bro, what does this say? <laughs> yeah, legitimately, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's like, there's like, this is a very important part of um history, like recent his. Why do people don't know anything about recent history? It's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. What's what's wrong with people? You know, <laughs> I think okay. I think customer service or jobs in general, where you have to deal with other people, where you have to take clients, where you have to consult other people, consultant job, customer service job, any kind of job where you have to like inform somebody else of something. That job, in particular, sucks. If you have to deal with the kind of that kind of thing, if you're if you're working if you're working not with other people, oh, shoot, what's supposed to be? <laughs> if you have to work with not other professionals, but you have to work with people who know nothing about the thing that you're specifically working in, that kind of job is the worst. It's the actually worst kind of job you can have because you have to explain to people why they can't do this thing that you know very obviously is not a thing that you can do. Like for example, like you know you cannot wear metal while you're working with electric wires, right? Because you will die, right? Or is it brain damage or something? I don't know, right? But they 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 will not listen to you because they're like, are you sure? Are, are you are you are are you sure that I can't touch the saw with my my bare hands? You can. Okay, it's unwise if you're an electrician electrician to wear metal on your body. I believe is what it was. What's funny? She used to shake her head. <laughs> Not just that she's not here, <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, but it's, it's like legitimately, it, it kind of sucks to have to deal with other people who don't know anything about the thing that you're supposed to be doing that you're gonna need to do, right? I think that kind of job is the worst, and like because like I just think people in general don't like to. It's fine. Is it actually? Did my friend lie to me? I think I was gaslit actually. Then I think I was actually gaslit then. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look this up later. It's very high voltage distance might be a problem. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, okay, that's probably what is it. What is it then? Yeah, but like, um, uh, <laughs> or like, I have a friend who's a civil engineer, but still like deal with architects and stuff. Like, no, Mr. Architect person, we cannot put this heckin' beam where you want to put it because this is a bad structural decision kind of thing. Uh, I think about this a lot. 
It's tough being a professional where you have to deal with other people who are not professionals. You're all usually insulated anyways, and usually your internal resistance doesn't really change. Oh, okay, okay. That's interesting, then. I'll keep this in mind, in case I ever decide to do electrician stuff, I guess. Pyeh. Over land wires? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'll be real. I haven't done, I haven't dealt with uh, electric wires since heck in high school, I believe. No, I took a course in university for it. Never mind. Connect the circuit. Ground to make a circuit and have any effect. But you should be wearing insulated boots to prevent that. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. What do you mean the windows will create a death ray that melts cars? <laughs> I. It's like every day you're the you're the heckin' um. It's like, if you're working at a job like this, you have to deal with people like Elon Musk who, have to make, who try to make the Cybertruck, right? And then the Cybertruck doesn't have a crumple zone. Or I believe the crumple zone's like really, really small. And you have to explain to Mr. Elon Musk why you having crumple zones in your car is a good thing and important and also like absolutely necessary. You can also create a circuit through yourself. I have heard about that. That sounds kind of fun. Although, like dubiously, uh, like safe, you know? I feel like... I don't know if it's like the wisest idea. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. I th I, th I think. I think there's a lot of. There's a lot of. There's a lot of things where it's hard to be. Able, it's hard to talk to people who don't know. Who don't do the specific thing that you do, and it's hard to explain to people who don't understand thing, things that you do. Right? Like case in point, you guys had to explain to me about hacking little electrical wires when I clearly know nothing. Everything in the heavens of the engineers at work actually listen to you? Nice, we take those. Please take care of yourself is how you die? Oh, okay. Regardless of the uh the strength of the 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 the, the or, or what? The car is a destructive people you crash into are. <laughs> I remember seeing a heckin' a tweet talking about how somebody wanted a bigger truck so that you could keep your family safe, like if in a car crash. I spike kill me the other people. <laughs> really funny. These people could have faith and trust the things that they're told, being told, but probably is willfully ignorant every step. They can and should be better. Oh, that's also true. But I also think, like, in some respects, it also is, like, validated in the sense that, um, people don't have enough trust in general at all in uh, other people, right? Small cars can have severe problems even if they run through your heart or your brain. Mm, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that that that, that checks out. That checks out. Yay! I love problems. Um, but it's like, I know in particular, um, in at, in in the medical system. Uh, I don't know if this is a thing globally, but I know that for certain um, for certain people, right? Um, the easiest example I can think of is like children, right? If you're diagnosing a child with ADHD, right? And oftentimes the doctors will just say, oh yeah, this kid has ADHD, when they're probably just like a child, right? Because children generally have higher levels of um, activity and stimulation, right? Where, or like somebody who has health problems, but they're also like obese, right? And then like the doctors will often say like, oh yeah, this is a problem related to your obesity. When often, we're not often, but like where sometimes that's not the case. And I think uh, sometimes um, there's a lot of stories about how doctors aren't being properly aware of the patient. And this is just like one field where I know that like people have trouble trusting in the professionals, and I think that's like that's that's also an issue that could that should that should hack and be fixed. To be honest, because people in general don't trust other people. You know, the if like um in, in the context of doctors, the doctors already work very hard. I think in general doctors should be appreciated more. But in the case of doctors who don't trust their patients, saying like, oh yeah, yeah, I have this issue, doctor, and I don't really know how to fix it. I, like, I think, I think this, in that specific scenario, you, the doctor should trust the patient more. But also, and like, so I can understand where the mistrust of professionals can come from. But also, I believe that professionals should always, should generally be trusted a little bit better. And also, tr tr I don't know, there's a, there's a lot of nuance to this conversation that I can't really get into because my brain doesn't work that way. I'm not very good at the, my speaking words. People trust people stupid. People trust stupid people because people are stupid. True. Now she talks to me even kill you years later because how pop. Our palpitations always good about. Oh, really? I didn't actually know that. I learned something today, your tech. Thank you. Well, like, health shocks can kill you years later because of health palpitations. I'll keep this in mind. Trust the intentions, double check the math. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good way of saying it. That's a good way of saying it. I also, like, in general, I think it's kind of like, um, 
I, I, me personally, because I'm a heckin' nerd, I like asking the professional, like, hey, what's this for, you know? <laughs> I want to tell any med schools because I've heard so many stories about quack dogs who can't solve obvious issues. Yeah, um, I think, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weird stuff. Like, I think professions, like, being a doctor and being a, like, um, heckin', and a heckin' software engineers, right? Software engineers and doctors. Jobs that are generally like very sought after for being profitable. Um, and so have a lot of people going into them regardless of qualification. Well, I mean, not regardless of qualifications. They're obviously qualified for whatever reason, but um, they tend to be people who aren't serious about the craft in general um, because of how many people go in it for the money, right? And I think professions where people go in it for the money tend to be more unreliable. Right? I feel like that's kind of the trend I've been noticing. Where people, where if the if the, if the profession is profitable but not um, profitable and and not too hard to get into day by day, it's like you get you tend to get like more fake professionals. You know, like I know there's a lot of software engineers, um, even some I know personally who don't feel qualified after they graduate because they didn't feel like they did a lot of the work themselves um, in university. Right? Um, I'm mostly friends with software, software engineers though, personally. I don't, I don't have a lot of friends who are doctors. Um, but I know people who are, do who want to become doctors, who have a hard time getting into medical industries because of how, um, hard the medical industry is getting, is to get into, right? And it's just, it's just rough all around right now. Like, I, oh, um, I made a tweet about this on Twitter the other day, and I think I forgot to reply to some comments. I've been, I've been neglecting comment replies a lot lately. Um, but... The idea is every other you see once you become an experienced professional yourself, some of your colleagues will make you question why you even try. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that, 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 I get that. The streets are big on fat in Canada, I'm out. I'm a good bee doctor, wants to work in the private sector to make more money. Yeah. I'm, I'm really lucky that my dentist is like a really sweet lady who is, um, who's, who like, she works really hard, right? But, um,. There's definitely a lot of people who do healthcare stuff without knowing the details. Um, I made a tweet about this, but and I don't know if I talked about this on stream because I talk about a lot of things with a lot of people now, and I kind of forget a lot. Um, but um, ever since the advent of like large language models like ChatGPT, um, I've been like there's I've been not not I've been noticing because I haven't been personally reading that many uh, scholarly articles. I don't have that much time, but people have been noticing an uptick of. Um, articles that seem to be written by large language models because there are a certain collection of words that are really that like that ChatGPT, for example, really likes to use. Um, one of the words being like notable, right? Notable, um, notable in itself isn't like like oh yeah, like that's that's definitely an AI, right? A lot of people use notable, right? But um, AI really likes to use metaphors, and AI really likes to use like um, words like mosaic and. Um, what was that? I forget. I forget. But there's like there's like a certain collection of words that um, AI tends to really like to use, and there's a really there's a graph for it. But there's like a really concerning number of papers nowadays that are using certain words that weren't so popular um, before the year 2021. All right? These people who said money is the root of all evil might have been onto something. <laughs> oh no, for sure. I agree with that one. I think that almost missed the stream. Hang on. Um, we're just talking about society and stuff. I love talking about society and stuff. I feel like this is like one of my 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 most um well 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 talked about topics. Mammon is one of the most powerful demons after all. Yeah, is AI not famous was because they find them in human writing samples? Um, it's hard to say because I think it's more like specifically. Well, okay, so the data doesn't really suggest that the words were used as widely before the advent of large language models, which might have something to do with the kinds of articles that were scraped um, by um, models, right? So I would assume um, maybe like a lot of open, what do you call it, open access resources were scraped a lot more than um, journals that you have paid to see, for example, right? And so... I think that might be why, one of the reasons why words like that are used more 
but also it is like if you look at the statistics on that it is it it, it does it does it does make you kind of concerned you know like wow your recent your your favorite researcher could be using ai to create their 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 um heckin research papers and like that's not i guess that's not inherently a problem in of itself but if it's not like properly peer reviewed it can become really problematic right and especially when it comes to like um like particularly important documents it does depend on the samples though yeah but like i don't know um i'll find the i'll find the i'll find the chart real quick actually i'm sure i could find it bum, bum. Uh... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the word I was thinking about is delve. Delve overuses, ChatGPT overuses the word delve. Uh, let me save this image. Have you guys been tired of this music yet, by the way? <laughs> Um, let's put some my downloads. We'll do that. I'll put this on the screen real quick. I get why they do that. I think it sounds really convenient. Oh yeah, for sure. But um, it comes to when it comes to the fact of like um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like comp comprehensibility. Um, AI is kind of mostly just like a pattern of speech recognizer. Right? And it kind of just spits out words. It doesn't really have logic, right? And that's kind of the problem. Let's browse images. It should be in my downloads. Do this one. This one. You guys see this? <laughs> this is a little bit of a problem, I think. I don't think we should delve into that. <laughs> Is it when research we should be able to trust that it was assembled with utmost care? Yeah, it shouldn't be off of the machines. I agree with that one. I just get why they would. I don't know, you know, I understand. Like, I think I think it, it makes a lot of sense. Which is why it's a pro which is why it's scary and why it's a problem. Alright? But yeah, this is this 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 chart right here makes me makes me makes me worry a lot for the for for literally anything I read. I am I because I, um I like to I like to like I I don't read the articles themselves that much because um I don't like to go through abstracts and like the processes and stuff even if it's interesting it's very long right so I usually go through um science um like reputable science uh, publishing news 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 but science publishing news places right where they do reference articles like this and then but then i get kind of i i feel like i should have more care about it now because i don't know what was written by a human by right so yeah this is this is this is weird this is weird this is definitely weird <clears throat> you get just got to top of the bottom 10 percent of the day to get rid of that liars so then it doesn't look that bad <laughs> certainly of course but yeah, no, we should be, I feel, I do, I, I do agree that AI is definitely being used in the wrong way right now for a lot of different, um, jobs, right? We're taking, like, we are taking the best parts of human society. We are taking the artistic and we're taking the best parts of human society. I've been reading, uh, classic novels where they use some really interesting language. Um, and we're offloading that to machines when I think that it should be the other way around. It should, I think human creativity being one of the best things should be the one thing that's, kept to humans right um to be fair it helps that like ai isn't really sentient it helps that ai is kind of stupid all right um it's really just like math that they you know it's it's really it's really just like it's like haha sentence generator ha 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 right but by the way if we go always come to new but kind of change since like the 50s and do, do anything about it oh yeah it's it's definitely it, it definitely comes back to heckin um the idea of making profit over the health of the universe, right? Because the richest people in the world, they don't care about climate change because they have enough money to just ignore it. And that's the thing. I don't like that crime in general. Just like for, for, for normal people, crime is crime, right? Crime is bad. But for rich people, crime is like, you just, you just have to pay a price to commit crime and then you'll be good, right? You just have to pay a fine. Like, oh, that's just the price to pay for committing tax evasion. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, have you seen the video creation AI that looks really heckin' scary, especially when using malicious ways? 
Yeah, the, the nice thing is that right now it's really primitive and it's very easy to tell what is AI, right? And our the brain works in pretty wonderful ways in the sense that our pattern recognition skills are so good to the point where if you see like, like three or four pieces of AI work and you know like, oh yeah, this is AI, you can kind of mentally figure out, oh, like this is also going to be AI as a result, right? You can kind of like... Um, you, you, at, at a point, the pattern recognition part of your brain starts to be able to figure out what is AI or not, even if it's hard to see. Um, and especially with video, where it has no sense of, um, 3D or anything like that. But I do think it is really dangerous in the, in terms of exploitation of, um, like, vulnerable populations. I think they executed a billionaire in Vietnam recently because she defrauded the country of 6% of the entire GDP. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, sex for Vietnam, of course, but like, damn, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Um, but yeah. Any kind of punishment is a fine? Is the price of new crime legally? Yeah, basically. The new stuff looks really realistic. Really? Okay. I haven't seen the new stuff then, I think. Um, I, I know generally AI has a specific look to it and has a specific kind of vibe to the way that it looks. I can't explain it well because it's kind of something that I guess I see as an artist, right? Maybe it's not even as an artist thing, right? I see it from the lens of like, oh yes, because I'm an artist, but like, really, like, I don't actually know why, right? But, um, yeah, and I, I, I it does get scary, right? With, 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 with how technology has advanced. Um, I feel like the really the the it, like the legitimately interesting technologies out there are the ones that don't get popular, I guess. All right, like you hear about like oh yeah, there's like mm, I can't even think of any right now off the top of my head. What's Oh, I heard about that one. Yeah, instinctually uncanny them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll get past that someday. I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope we sniff this bud where it began, you know? Take a look at some of their videos. I've seen a couple of their videos. Like, there's like, um, there's like a sample that they had once. It was like, um, a pan through a city, right? Kind of vibe. And there's one that's like, oh yeah, puppies playing in the snow. But like, I don't know, looking at it, I felt like, it, it felt like, like, oh yeah, you could see that there's like an extra paw sticking out from nowhere, right? Whatever. Um, I don't know if it's got how much better it's gotten since then, but like I think it's really dangerous that they are taking copyrighted material in particular, like particular in the sense of current laws, rather than making new laws. The fact that they're taking copyrighted material, like I know that there's even like people scraping like YouTube, right, and Twitch, Twitch, Twitch streams to create new videos, which is bad, definitely very bad. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like part of what it is, is that historically, companies were often really reliant on what the public wanted. Um, and basically, the public's will would kind of um, affect what the really rich people wanted to do. But with how the richest corporations in the world kind of don't really have to care about what people want anymore. It's... It, it's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> because, like, if they've created a product that will make them money, like the iPhone, for example, um, then they can kind of use their money beyond that to produce essentially whatever they want without really caring for the benefit of society, I guess? Because they have so much money, they have enough money to not care. That's something I was thinking about, but I haven't, like, thought about it thoroughly enough to, um... I guess, like, have a good grasp on it. Feel the black market, the uh, black people the market looks crazy, I'd fall for that if I wasn't expecting it to be AI. Oh, dang, okay. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that video then. I definitely haven't been keeping up with AI stuff. Um, it's not something I've been interested in. Um... But like, you know the thing that does scare me about AI? It means that there's a lot of people in universities and stuff that are going to be graduating with because of AI. And that's the thing that scares me. Um, I've heard stories about like teachers in classrooms who've been asking for essays. And then, um, 
basically they the teacher said like it's like I like the, a significant portion of the class used AI, and I will give you a zero if you don't like confess and send in a proper essay right now, right? And then there's like a class of 28 people and 27 people admitted to using AI kind of thing. If I can just works and once people aren't needed to that work, they really need to heed others' opinion. Yeah, um, basically. I just, I just, I just, I just feel like we're living in a, we're, we're, we're slowly encroaching on a dystopian kind of world that we've only really seen in, like, 2012 YA, like, fiction, right? If you guys, like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, Hunger Games, uh, Divergent, even though the Divergent was bad, um, The Giver, even though The Giver's a lot older, right? Stuff like that, I feel like we're heading into, like, a definitely dystopian kind of society, and it is hard to feel a bit of hope, right? Um, and I think I think when it comes when it comes to like general society as a whole, um, it is kind of hard to feel hopeful, right? And I really take the tip of the dominoes, huh? Yeah, but um, we're we're reaching about three hours. We've been talking about this stuff for about an hour now. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably end you guys. I'll probably I'll probably end it with you guys here soon. Um, I'll just like just to give you a little bit of like um happiness and hope in life, I guess. Um, it's I guess I guess the thing that I I, I keeps me going for me is knowing that there are people out there who legitimately want to be good and want to be better um and like a lot of the bad stuff is really relegated to a small specific subset of the population and most people are willing to listen if you talk to them uh kindly right and so like the people that you meet in your daily lives the people that you're already close with and the people that you care about um chances are they're good people who want to like who value you and value um, other people as well. And so um, I think there is hope for the world, even if it's really hard to see. Um, even if I can't really see where that's heading. <laughs> I think there is, I, I, I think this is like going to be in history, um, a really notable point, turning point in society for sure. But I think, Things will get better from here on out. I can't really explain why or how, but I don't imagine that we're gonna be living in heckin' um, permanent hedonistic capsules where we trace only the endless joy of tomorrow, right? Instead of, um, you know, doing things for ourselves, right? So, I hope you guys, I hope you guys uh, take take faith in the general good of society and the good humanity, even if um, there's a lot of people out there that don't seem very good. All right. Yeah, there are lots of people working to fix things for sure. <laughs> you best start believing the dystopian why eviction. You are in one. <laughs> you can someone send to your call to take care of them. True. Um, let it. Let, let you guys remember. You guys. I was almost invited into a cult in my school, um, and then I escaped. All right. I'm sure you guys could do the same, and we'll we'll figure it out. Even if we have to take in. Innovate away to Mars, right? Had too much of a week to uh, hope for faith, to be honest. But you can give it the hope of next time. Okay, 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 wait, hold on. What about this one? What about this one? Um, we recently discovered around 150 new species, or 100 plus new species of um, marine life in New Zealand recently. That's really exciting. Um, there's a lot of the world left to be explored. There's a lot of technology that we have yet to develop. Uh, there's a lot of bad technology being developed by bad companies for sure, but there's also a lot of people who are trying to do good, right? Especially at um, educational facilities. I think people are generally looking to create or benefit society a lot more. And I think that's a really cool thing. So. I don't want to escape this cult. I want to know. <laughs> well, I mean, I think, yeah, I think, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think the cool part of humanity is that there is good parts and there's bad parts. There might be a lot more bad than good right now, but I think, um, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of, uh, change over the next decade, right? Lots of things to change in a decade. And I don't imagine, I mean, unless we go into an all-out, all like, world war, I mean, that's also possible. But I think people, I think we'll generally get a little bit better. I think, I think things will definitely trend towards a little bit more positively, so. It's most individuals are good. Yeah, I think, I think the thing that makes people bad is unwavering belief. So, humans are generally not evil. Yeah, it just become. I think it's like when you believe in a cause wholeheartedly, and you don't have outside influences, it becomes kind of bad. So, 
Um, I've said a lot of words in the last few hours. Uh, have you guys enjoyed today's stream? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I just talked for about an hour. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, my voice is starting to go a little bit, as it tends to do when I, when I talk a lot. Uh, I hope you guys today's enjoyed talk. I hope you can. I hope you guys enjoyed today's talk about life and society, and um, finances and politics and everything in between. All right. And I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good week. I'll see you guys in. Uh, so five plus five plus three plus five plus three plus so wait, three three th uh wait four three 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 four four plus thirty thirty six hours. I'll see you guys in thirty six. I'll see you guys in thirty six thirty seven thirty seven thirty eight hours thirty eight hours. <laughs> I'll see you guys in 38 hours, alright? Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys then. Uh, I'll make an announcement, and... I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye!